Hey there everybody, this is Millennium Jester welcoming you to a brand new Let's Play series. Let's play Metroid 4. Wait, Metroid 4? That can't be right, there's no Metroid 4. Stop playing at my heartstrings, Nintendo! The big satellite... I, I don't know. Oh look, there's that Heroes of our ships. That same as Aaron. Yep, those be asteroids. We're gonna get to them in seven minutes. Better watch out. Wait, where, where are you going? Where, where, where are you? Don't do that. What are you doing? No, whoa, 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 whoa. And she was never heard from again. Huh. Alright, well, let's start this game off, shall we? Let's see, we got ABC, we got sound. Get through that, put that through my headphones. I think that puts it in stereo too. Actually, that makes it quieter, huh? Anyway, let's uh, let's go with A and start our game up. Maybe we can get some backstory. I'm not gonna do Samus's voice. I'll just I, I've been assigned to watch over biologic research team. Huh? It's biologics. So once again, found myself on the surface of SR388. SR388 is the Metroid home planet. The hell are those things? Kill it! Kill it with missiles! Oh crap. What the hell is that? It's a ghost! It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. What? It's only later that I learned that the identity of my attacker, the parasitic organism we now know as the X. Mega Man X? No. That's something else. I'm aware of my condition, I was returning to the station. When disaster struck. Ooh, once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness. A shift drifted, in, or drifted into an asteroid belt. You think he'd, she'd like throw it on autopilot or something? I mean, I don't know if they have autopilot in the future, but I would assume. We can rebuild her. We have the technology. Ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the escape pod before impact. See, that yeah, they have emergency systems, but they don't have autopilot. So that way you don't, you know, fly into my asteroids and stuff. I don't know. F future's weird. Transport me to Galactic Federation HQ. Ew. She got honey all over her. So the X corrupted big parts of her power suit. Wow. That's rough. Yeah, she now looks like... She no longer looks like a hot female in a, in a space suit. It's very tight. Now she is a man. No, I'm just kidding. Then someone found a cure. That's kind of convenient, don't you think? They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. It seems that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infant Metroid from SR388. From Metroid 2! Serum was prepared and injected without delay. The X-Parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. I would I thought it would have been hilarious if they showed like little tiny Metroids swarming in and like omnoming on the little uh the little X-Parasites, but they don't, which is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> Whoa. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived, reborn, as something different. My suit is blue now. Pondering this fact, I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. From Super Metroid! We'll soon be arriving at the BSL. In the future, we abbreviate everything we have to say. 
Ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the biologic space lab. So that's what it means. Research station. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as my infected pieces of my power suit. Huh. I'm sure that'll never come back to bite us. Huh. Station. There's an explosion, I guess. CO's commanding officer, by the way. For all you in, not in the know or who don't play um, Advance Wars. Your other CO. Big boss? No, that's, that's something else. Ooh, yeah, we got a new spaceships. I should note that this game takes place chronologically last in the uh, Metroid series, so that's why you're like, well, I've never seen Purple Spaceship before. That's why. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388 as well as parts of your suit infected by the X parasites. The cause of this explosion is yet unclear. Investigate. Quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You're still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. So this Metroid's a lot different from the other ones, where you're, like, running around and exploring. And this one... Oh, dear. Uh, just a moment, so I can change my controls. Alright, sorry about that. I did change my controls really quick. So, like I was saying, this one's more objective-based than the other Metroid games, so... I actually really like that. I like the change that they made here. Um, but I'll get I'll get more into that later on. Also, also remember Metroid Zero Mission? Oh, oh you see this grabbing? <gasps> I don't have to get a power up for that. You gotta be, you gotta be joshing me. Yeah, but yeah. What is this? That doesn't look safe. What is this? Show me your secrets. Oh, whoa. It's all this, then. Either we can come down here and party for a little bit. Nah, there's nothing we can do down here yet. Thank God for that grab, or else it would have been stuck in that hole. Alright, so if you want to check out where you're supposed to go, you just hit the start button. And they'll lock us in with the navigation room. This is where we get our orders. The quarantine bay is ahead. Biosides are confirmed. Be careful. Oh, I'm sure it's just one of the doctors or something. This place is pretty big, though. Can't open this door. Hmm. Oh, this looks like I... Oh, I don't have the morph ball. Wonder if they can't do it in this suit. Oh, what the hell? Kill it! Kill it with gods! I have the power! Yeah, so, uh, he's gonna say it in a minute here, but I'm just gonna spoil it for you. Uh, now that we have the Metroid vaccine in us, we can absorb the X particles and heal, like, weapons and ammo and stuff. So I guess all that's organic to us now. Um, also, we're, we're, we get hurt by the cold because of the, the side effect of the Metroid vaccine. <laughs> Sorry for all the sniffing, by the, or sniffling, by the way. This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by the X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have hosted it before the explosion security sensor found the gelatinous parasites invade. And, oh, they, this is what they do. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. Oh, man. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. Seems like Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine works so quickly and well. Huh. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb them to get weapons and... Yeah. Also restore latent abilities this way. Huh. Huh. Yeah, that would be a bad thing. Hmm. I'm only at 10% battle capacity. 
Well, thank you. Sure, howdy doody, why not? So I released the lock on level zero hatches. Those are the white doors. Look at Samus's vertical, man. It's like eight feet off the ground. Also, how the scientists get around here? Do they have eight foot verticals as well? All right, so as you can see, we need to head over this way, but first things first, we can't get up here because there's a green door. We don't have that ability yet. But we will, don't worry. Die, kill it with guns. Kill it with science! We got a save room here. So let's save a day of the game. Oh yeah. That's cool. Let's so head over here. We got this. Is that one of the scientists? It's a zombie! Kill it with guns! Oh man. This is not but This is no bueno. We gotta, we gotta help these guys. We can't get through there. Can kill the zombies. Note to self, arm cannons very useful in zombie invasions. I've received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapon data. Sweet. Missiles. The data room, where's that? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, they tell you where to go to, which is nice. That way you're not running around like a re don't get me wrong. I like exploration games as much as the next guy, but sometimes you get frustrated because you can't find where you're supposed to go next, and you're just like, ugh. Zahel, man, Zahel. Alright, so you can't go this way. <laughs> yeah, that's safe. All those wires just, like, intertwine together in the middle of a hallway. That's safe. Elevator time. Ooh. That computer reminds me of a corrupt Federation CEO I served under named Alcum or Adam Malkovich. Malkovich, you son of a... You get it. He called me Lady on Missions. From anyone else, it would have been... Or would have sounded sarcastic. But Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. If you've played Metroid Other M, you would know who Adam Malkovich is, but... I think the game did, didn't do it justice. So, if we look at our map here... The, we have a refuel and a save room down there. We have a navigations and a data room over here. Yay! So we got our missile data. Hold R and press B. That's nice. I'll shoot those off like crazy later. Electronical interference has knocked out the elevators on the main deck. This may be related to the X. I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. Hmm. Yes. Now, he's, he basically told us that the green X parasites will give us back our weapons. Or our missiles. So, we gotta keep an eye out for that. And up there is a red room that we can't get to. Yeah, so we could blow the hatch off there, but first things first. Let's go reload and save, shall we? Jack it, Mega Man. Yeah. Alright, and then let's go to the save room. And I think that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Join us back next time when we find out what those bio signs are and see how the hell we're going to kill it. This has been Millennium Jester signing out. This place is spooky. See you next time.